Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today's video is all about signal strengths and how we visualize them in Minecraft. So I'm going to show you the normal way. I'm going to show you a way that I came up with, which is pretty compact and has some nice features. I'll show you an addition I made to that, which also adds a bit of convenience. And I'll go over how it all works. So first of all, we have a comparator coming out of a chest. This chest is one third full. And so the signal strength is one third of the max, the max being 15. And this is a signal strength of five. If we go ahead and fill the chest up with blocks completely, it'll be a signal strength of 15. All 15 lamps are lit up. And you can maybe see out of the top left, as I remove blocks from the chest, the signal strength decreases and the less and less lamps are lit up until we get down to a single stack. One, one lamp is lit up and we remove the last set of blocks and it's completely unlit. So here's my alternate method. It's quite compact. Uh, it doesn't use as many redstone lamps. This chest is one third full and we can see that the lamp is blinking every now and then. Every, I don't know, it's maybe like a second and a half, maybe two seconds. Let's fill up the chest completely and what'll happen is it'll, it'll just stay on all the time. Now, as I remove some of the blocks, we'll start to see it blink uh, at different frequencies. So with when it's mostly full still, it's kind of blinking slowly. As I remove a lot of the blocks though from the chest, it'll start blinking faster. As if we're back to one third, if I go down to just a single stack, it'll blink quite quickly. And then if I remove the last stack, it is now off all the time. Uh, and a little addition you can add to this is just a single note block. Uh, you can also replace the lamp with the note block and put whatever block you want below the note block to the uh, to be whatever instrument you want. But so now if I put a single stack in here, you can hear it dinging as I add more stacks. That'll slow down. As I add more and more stacks, it'll be much, much slower. And then once I get it completely full, it's not going to ding at all. So that dinging can be kind of annoying. Here I've got a slightly modified version. All I've added is a block with an inventory and two comparators. And what this does is this has a threshold. It has the same behavior as this guy over here, except it will only blink and ding below a certain threshold. So here we're at about half of capacity. As I remove a couple of stacks, we will start to hear it ding. And then if I remove more stacks, it'll ding faster and we go down to the Zelda one heart territory <laughs> as it dings faster. Once you remove the last stack, it's still gonna turn off and stop dinging. Um, so this is a nice little addition, which basically just, like I said, just adds a threshold. So it's not gonna be making, any, making that noise as long as you are above a certain threshold of fullness in the chest. And you can control that threshold by controlling how full this dropper is. But I'll get to that in a little bit. So how does this work? Well, it uses this little comparator loop, which basically, let's let's initialize it to full signal strength. This is a signal strength of 15. Now, as, when I remove this redstone block, we'll start to see it dim over time. And something, I don't know, a couple seconds later, it's completely gone. All the signal strength is completely gone. And so over here, I've got a different version. So here we'll initialize it. This is a signal strength of 14 here. Okay, and so, It'll take a while to dim and then it'll go out completely. Let's go about halfway down this line and we'll see it takes less time to dim completely. As we go over here and use the last one in the line, you'll see those comparators turn on. Once I turn this lever off, almost immediately they go out. So we initialize this loop to a certain signal strength and it takes a different amount of time to deplete depending on how much signal strength you gave it. So what we have here is we have the chest initializing the loop with signal strength. And if we remove, let's just remove one single stack so that, um, so because we have this repeater coming in from the side, so the repeater has a signal strength of 15 coming from the side. So when, this, when the chest is full, a signal strength of 15 is enough to override that. And so it'll output its full signal strength and it'll basically just override this whole thing, keeping it on all the time. Once we have fewer than 15 signal strength, um, what we get is, this initializes the loop to a full signal strength of 15, and that decays over time until it hits zero. As long as it has any signal strength left in this loop though, that will trigger this repeater, which suppresses this comparator. And so we, ha we basically have to wait until this loop completely runs out of signal strength before we can have this repeater refresh the signal strength. 
And so that's what causes the different amount of delay. So as we remove more of the blocks, uh, the signal strength that the loop gets initialized to will be lower. You'll notice it starts out dimmer once it, once it gets signal strength from this. And so that's, that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward how that works, actually. I'm going to remove the rest of the blocks. Well, here. So here we have signal strength of 1, and that basically immediately decays just one time through here, and so this is blinking very fast. Let's get rid of this so it stops dinging. Over here, let me show you the modification I've made to add the threshold. So visually, I can just show you. We added a comparator, comparator. We have a repeater slightly moved, and then we have a redstone dust back here. So those are basically the additions, and I guess the, the sandstone block too. Okay, so basically, instead of having a repeater pointing at the comparator like we had over here, we have a repeater going into a comparator that's pointing at this compare the side of this comparator. And so if this thing was not here, what we would have is the exact same thing we had before. Uh, we have basically a signal strength of 15 going into the side of this comparator. What we do by adding this comparator and putting this comparator into subtraction mode is we can subtract different amounts from this comparator's strength. And so if we just sort of like take this, take this little part of the circuit here and just look at that, um, we can see that when this repeater is on, we get a signal strength of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we get a signal strength of seven. Uh, we can control that by having different amounts of redstone blocks in here. If I remove some redstone blocks, we actually get a higher signal strength. This is now eight. If I remove some more redstone blocks, this is now 10, I think. And uh, so we can control how much of that signal strength goes into the, uh, uh, comes out of this comparator by subtracting different amounts from it. So that's why it's so important this is in subtraction mode. And so if there is any signal coming into this repeater, it'll be at a certain signal strength. And if there isn't any, it'll be a signal strength of zero. And so what we see over here is this, this comparator is either outputting signal strength seven or zero, depending on whether the comparator loop has any signal strength left in it. And so since seven is the amount that it's, uh, sort of is the threshold for this comparator, as long as this chest is full enough to output a signal strength that's seven or higher, it's always just gonna stay on. But once the chest gets empty enough, it's not gonna output a signal strength of seven anymore, it's gonna output a signal strength of, say, six. And that then this comparator will be enough to suppress this most of the time, except for when this loop runs out of signal strength. And so, Briefly, we'll refresh the signal strength to six or five or four or three or two or one or whatever it is. And so this is a way of just creating a different threshold rather than 15, it'll be a threshold of seven or whatever. So it takes a, a few extra blocks to make that happen. But this is pretty cool because uh, it lets you have an audio indicator for if you have like a chest that's really important that it never empties out then you can tell how urgent it is that you need to refill the chest and um, and it'll only alert you if the chest gets below a certain threshold. So I think that's pretty neat. So yeah, uh, there's nothing particularly complicated to building these. You can see all the redstone right here. Pause the video if you need to. The only thing I will point out is that this comparator needs to be in subtraction mode. The default mode is not subtraction mode, it's threshold mode. You need to right click it once to put it in subtraction mode. But uh, otherwise, it's very straightforward. And like I said, if you want to have a different note for the note block, you can always like, you can put the note note block down here. Use a different uh, different block beneath it. And so this will be like a bass drum, and you can use all kinds of different notes. And I hear they're adding new different notes in 1.14 too. All right, hope you guys hope you guys learned something. That's about it. Thanks for watching.